So you've probably heard of the rapper Polo G. He's one of the biggest artists in the world right now. And with that being said, just yesterday he released a new album titled Hall of Fame. And last night Polo G ended up having a release party for the album down in Miami. This was Ben coming out. I worked on this album for a year plus. You feel me? I've been working for three years straight. You feel me? And hard work pays off. You feel me? I'm at the top right now. And I love and enjoy everybody to be around here with me at this moment in time. Now, believe it or not, as Polo G was leaving the listening party last night, he was arrested along with seven other people. So here's the reaction of Polo G's mom as this all was unfolding. Do you see this? Do you see this? It's ridiculous. So they won't let me talk to my, they won't let me speak to my sons. Not only will they not let me speak to Polo, they won't let me speak to Torian, who is a minor, who's 16 years old. And when we walked up, they told us in Miami that we would, uh, we would be arrested if I asked what was going on with my minor son or any of my children. So at this point, what street are we on? We're on Biscayne. Y'all need to motherfucking call the police department and flood them bitches. Because I don't understand. My children will not be a casualty. They were not driving. They have a driver. We're leaving his album release party. The car is stopped. And when the car gets stopped, they drag my children out of the car. They're calling me on FaceTime. And can you imagine as a mother how powerless you feel when the people who are tasked with their safety are the very aggressors who would literally easily take my children's life. It's not gonna happen, not today. I need you all to call the Miami County, city of Miami. the city of Miami, call the police department and flood them bitches because not today, not on my watch, will they do anything to my children. No, they not suicidal. No, they want on no drugs. No, they not acting motherfucking crazy. They're not gonna do anything to my children because we're celebrating a success. And in celebrating a success, they turn around and they fucking villainize them because they're black, because they're oh, handsome, because right. they're wealthy. Then they look at them because they do not belong and according to them. I literally asked these people what is going on with my sons and they told me that I would be arrested. So according to Polo G's mom, you know, he wasn't even the driver of the vehicle he was in. They had a designated driver and they were pulled over and Polo and his brother were dragged out of the car for basically no reason and the charges that Polo got actually back up this claim. It seems like he was stopped for no reason at all and despite the fact that none of them had guns or anything, in this next clip you're about to see, there is at least 20 cop cars handling this situation and they refused to answer any of Polo G's mom's questions as her minor son was being arrested and they even threatened to arrest her if she kept asking where her kids were. Listen, ma'am, what we got going on here is an ongoing investigation, all right? Investigation. And hey, 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 don't, don't, hey, hey, don't, hey, don't touch me. Don't I didn't touch you. Don't pass the screws on. How about that? Girl, please. Girl, please. Girl, please. All of this is because my son, Polo G, in a licensed vehicle with fucking security and a driver, okay? He wasn't even the person driving. Do you know how scary that is? And then when I go and approach them to ask them about my children, and namely my minor son who's 16, they tell us if we don't leave, that they're going to lock us the fuck up. I need y'all to spam. They have Polo G, they have T-Baby, and I am not having it. My children will not be a casualty. I have raised my children right. They are respectful people, and we are celebrating a success, and this is how it ends, not on my watch. Not on my watch, and not today. So if we're being honest here, we all know what this was this what you know if polo g was a white man if he was jack harlow if he was nf if he was eminem this would not be happening which is crazy because literally a, a year ago to this day there was protests in every major city in the country after george floyd's death and this stuff is still going on there has been like no improvement and if we go ahead and look at the charges here it looks like he was legitimately set up so he was arrested and charged with battery of a police officer influence performance threat which 
if I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what that means. Resisting an officer with violence, resisting an officer without violence, and criminal mischief. So as you probably noticed, none of these charges are related to why he was pulled over. According to his mom, he was pulled over for what looks like no reason and then dragged out of the car. So it makes sense that he was trying to resist arrest because he was literally being harassed for nothing. And on top of that, none of these charges would even be possible if they didn't pull him over in the first place. Not to mention how they handled the situation with his mom was terrible. They wouldn't allow her to speak to her kids, including the minor. They wouldn't even tell her what was going on. So there was just an update from Double XL, which says apparently the professional driver of the car committed a traffic violation, and then the vehicle was pulled over with officers immediately antagonizing the rapper and his teen brother, who were passengers and had nothing to do with the traffic violation. So if I had to guess, with how this situation was handled, Polo G won't be going to jail for like any extended period of time. If anything, the Miami PD are gonna get sued because everything points to the fact that they just harassed them for no reason. So with that being said, that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter and TikTok at RelaxYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.